was your fingerprint, now it's your eye. The next level of security for smartphones is iris scanning. This is built into a new device that just hit the market. Gabe Slate from our sister station shows you the new flagship Android smartphone that's getting a lot of buzz. When you set up the iris scanner for the first time on the Android Samsung Galaxy Note 7, you have to take off your glasses or contacts. Other than that, it's a simple, painless process. Once you have it set up, you just raise the phone up to your eyes to unlock it. I tried it out 20 times or so. It's been working. I also put the phone up to other people's eyes, and it would not unlock. So this iris scan seems to be legit. Here's a look at some of the other highlights of this phone. It has a 5.7 inch curved edge display. It's blazing fast, a lot of productivity features. If you do a lot of work on your phone, a lot of heavy duty applications, this is a good fit. It comes with a small convenient stylus pen that is stored in the phone. It pops out here at the bottom. It has wireless charging built in. So if you buy one of these charge pads that start around $30, you just set the Note 7 on it and it charges. This is the first Android phone to implement the new USB-C connection. It offers a lot faster charging and transfer speeds. One other neat thing about this phone, it's highly water resistant. It's just shy of waterproof. It can be rained on, dunked in the sink, toilet, pool. It will survive short bursts of intense water without a problem. The big four carriers are now offering this phone, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T. Uh, if you're in the market for a new Android device, definitely give this one a look. Just overall, it's a very solid device with a lot of cool new features. It's definitely Samsung's you know, new flagship phone. Unfortunately, it's really expensive. Uh, they want $850 for this phone. Uh, the carriers are also offering monthly plans that are around $35 a month. So you might want to consider waiting till the holidays when I think the price will drop on the Note 7.